everyone, we are back for another night of Wing Commander 2, Vengeance of the Kilrathi. Before we get started, I'm just going to point out, as always, I am Jeff. I play old, retro, obscure games. Uh, anything old, basically. Anything retro feeling. Uh, sometimes I'll play newer ones. But I do it all to share the fun old stuff I used to enjoy as a kid and still do uh, to highlight some lesser known stuff, to highlight some historical stuff, but mostly I do it because every year I fundraise as part of an event called Extra Life. And if you haven't heard of it before, Extra Life is an organization that connects gamers all over the world with their local Children's Miracle Network hospitals in order to raise money for those hospitals. My local hospital is the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children, or Sick Kids. Uh, it's a really great cause. This is my sixth year doing it. And when you're participating in Extra Life, it all culminates on game day, which is November 5th this year. I will be starting at November 4th in the evening at 9.30 Eastern. But it is a 24-hour gaming marathon, fundraising the entire time. I will be live streaming the entire thing as always. If you check out my link section down below on Twitch, you can see on my YouTube account, there is uh, last year's and the years before are both online, I think. Uh, you can check out how much fun it is. It's great. I look really tired by the end of it, uh, but it's a really good cause. If you donate, everything goes towards sick kids here in Toronto. Uh, unless you optionally choose to give something to Extra Life for their overhead, everything is going to that hospital. Every little bit helps. It is tax deductible. You will get a receipt from Sick Kids if you donate to my fundraiser. Um, it's it's such a great cause, and hospitals right now are not in great shape here in Ontario, here across Canada, probably not in the states either. Uh, but they could use your help. They are really hard up for resources. They are overwhelmed. Sick Kids has had its ICU full for like two weeks now. Wait times are insane. Please give generously. It's a wonderful cause. They need it. Uh, and if you need a little extra incentive, I have some incentives on my fundraising page. If you click on that, there's a link in the chat. There's a link down below. Uh, you can pick a game for me to play during my 24-hour marathon. Uh, it has to be old. It has to be something that I can, I can reasonably get a hold of uh, in time, which means uh, I, I cut off that incentive uh, next Friday. So if those haven't all been picked by next Friday, it's cut off because I, I need time to be able to acquire copies of these old games. Uh... What else? You can choose a destination for me to fly to in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I am a big flight sim geek. I am a terrible pilot, but I enjoy it anyways. We will take the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator and we will fly anywhere you want me to in the world. I will go touring. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator has what they call photogrammetry, I believe, where they put together satellite photographs with map data, topography, uh, and all sorts of uh, city mapping data as well uh, about buildings and all that. But it's really good. They can recreate the world uh, without necessarily needing a, a personal touch with an actual artist looking at it and working on it. Although there are lots of iconic locations that they, they do spend the time to make sure, you know, the CN Tower actually looks like the CN Tower. The Sudbury Big Nickel is in game. Uh, all sorts of places. Anywhere you want in the world, I believe we have one of those chosen already. We're going to be touring the Grand Canyon in Arizona, which is pretty fun. I will fly super dangerously, uh, and it'll be a good time. My last incentive I have set up this year is for someone who is feeling especially generous and especially mean. If someone donates $666, I will do a live stream where I will eat the world's hottest tortilla chip and play some video games. It's supposedly flavored with scorpion and Carolina Reaper peppers, uh, which are insanely hot. It has been compared to eating battery acid. It supposedly has a chance to make me on and off the toilet for about 12 hours after eating it. 
so it's getting its own stream. If someone chooses that incentive, I will will not be doing that in my 24-hour marathon. I want to be there for the entire thing. I want to accomplish it. But if someone chooses the eat hot chip incentive, I will eat the hot chip on a separate stream, and I'll post about that. You'll, you'll hear about it. So I'll talk about Extra Life frequently during the stream tonight, but for now we are going to uh, try and get going with our game here. We are playing Wing Commander 2. Uh, last session when we were playing, uh, we were having a little bit of difficulty with a mission, but hopefully we will be able to get past that tonight and uh, keep moving with the campaign. You guys don't need to see the intro movie. So, uh, recap. Actually, we'll just we'll just do the briefing. You'll see. Uh, we have to go escort a ship that has uh, top secret information on board. And we're flying a broadsword, which is not my favorite thing. And we're alone. We don't have a wingman. All right. So vital communications data. I don't know if it's from a listening post or something. Uh, if you've never seen this, if you've never played Wing Commander, it's basically the Pacific, uh, the Pacific Theater World War II in space, uh, and. We are the American side, uh, and the Japanese side is, uh, they're giant two meter tall space cats. So other than the fact that we're flying fighters and there are carriers, uh, there's not a lot of similarities, but the inspiration was, uh, World War II in space is, is the thought. So we're going to go to this jump point. Uh, we are going to jump out and we're going to see if we can rescue these people. some enemies that guy's not even my target but I'm a pretty good shot More should do it. If I can get him. Got him. So we are going to continue on to our jump point. We are going to do a short jump. And hopefully we are going to rescue that freighter. Although, if I remember last time, I think the freighter is already dead when we get there. And we're going to get jumped by a whole bunch of fighters that are way more maneuverable than us. Uh, so we got to basically get on our rear turret and blast them before they kill us. We tried a couple times last time. We'll see how well it goes this time. the data capsule. Kaboom! And we have to immediately blast these guys on our tail. going well. I don't think we're going to make it this time. I got one of them. Nope, not quite. I think there's three of them. So 
So it just starts us over at the beginning. We kill these two guys who are on our way. I accidentally shot a missile. definitely faster than us, but he's not so maneuverable, so when he moves into gun range, we should be able to get him. Or we can just accidentally shoot the last of our missiles. That's fine, too. Uh, the problem with my joystick is uh, it's a two-stage trigger, so you pull it halfway, and that counts as one button, and you pull it all the way, and it counts as a second button. Uh, and it's it's very, very small, the distance between the two, so I accidentally fire my missiles all the time in this game. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Maybe we'll make a pass with our main guns first. We'll just skip the little cutscene when we get there. Looks like there are three of them. Uh, the other thing we found at last session is that uh, this game punishes you for doing well. So, uh, if we have a, a session where we fly really well, it will increase the difficulty. So we've been punished for doing well at the beginning of the game. And I think it takes quite a while for the difficulty to go down, but... The more times we die, the easier the game will get, supposedly. Not sure what the threshold is, but... waste all my missiles. Alright, where to next? The jump point. Maybe I'll deliberately fire one of these missiles. They are friend or foe missiles, so they're just going to automatically shoot something that's not friendly, uh, which is everything out here. So I may just blast one of those off pretty much immediately. Capital ship got me at the end. Okay. That's the first time we've got all the fighters, though, so yay for us.
go. In pretty good shape. No hull damage, shields at full. Let's see how long we can last this time. I feel like we did better last time than we had before. I think that was the first time we wiped out all the fighters. We just really got to get away from that capital ship, which is blasting us with flak the entire time. Again. We're gonna get through though. It's gonna happen. Fighters that keep busting us up are Sarthies, which are way more maneuverable than the ship that I have now. Which means I can't really dogfight them, I have to rely on my turret. And the AI turret is not great. Come here. I see you. Alright, he wants to come up behind me, I'll use the turret on him too. Fine. We are going to wait though, because we got our rear shield hurt a little bit there. Uh, when you're on autopilot, your shields don't actually recharge, so we gotta wait for that rear shield to go up to 50 before we jump. But we're just going to wait for a bit. up our speed all the way and jump and we'll see how it goes let's get the cutscene okay we got one with our guns that's good Okay, is that it? Okay, we gotta get out of range of this flak. Dang. The flak's chewing us up. We gotta somehow get out of range, then take on the fighters. But the fighters are super fast. So that is very difficult to do in a ship that does not have an afterburner.
jump. Fingers crossed, folks. As I said, I want to get right out of the way. You'll get it. I refuse to give up on this game. I love the first one so much. And it's also hard, but it's not like this. left. That's good. Okay, so last time we turned away immediately as soon as we got out of the cutscene. I'm touching the joystick now, so we'll immediately go over. I'm not counting. Is anyone counting? <laughs> I think my record was 13 times in a previous stream, but we're on track to beat that. really good at getting rid of those two guys. Get my friend or foe missiles. Almost to the jump point.
No dice. So we've been banging our head against the wall for 20 minutes now. Oh my god. So many times. Yeah! Alright, I shouldn't have done autopilot. We were already almost there. And now we gotta wait for my shields to recharge. Because when you're autopiloting, your shields don't recharge for some reason. back up, crank the throttle, jump where we need to go. Skip the cutscene. These two guys that are really easy to kill. And then lambs to the slaughter. Here goes. So I'm not sure if there are three or four of these enemy fighters, but man. I don't think my pilot is helping matters much. Like, I get that he's trying to evasively maneuver, but I need to shoot these guys. Ah, that's the capital ship. We're too close. Yep. Come on. We're gonna do it. I'm mad about it now. Now I'm gonna get you this time first. Or not. Your body is intent on being the first to go.
that's fine. I don't care. We do not need to kill him. If you damage them enough, they generally try and get out of there. They're not suicidal. Okay, here we go again. turn fight with them, but... attempt. Gang beaten every time. <laughs> no mercy whatsoever. Go. 
All right. <laughs> so immediate render foe missile. Okay, that's one. Come on. It's two. Now, if I can get away from the flak, I can recharge my shields. <laughs> okay. And now the flak is only lasted a little bit. Okay. We did it! <laughs> Alright. Speed to zero. We're going to turn around and face capital ship, whatever it is. Uh, so we've got, looks like our rear armor is pretty depleted. We've got some uh, on our right side. I don't know if that's port or starboard. Let me know in the comments if you know if right or left is port, which one's which. Uh, but at the right side, the armor is pretty bad. Oh, it's a Relatha. Oh shit, he's coming closer. He's coming after us. They have a big main gun, so I don't want to get in the way of it. Uh, what I do want to do is let my shields recharge. So my aft shields are up at 32. They can go to 50. I'm going to switch to my torpedoes. Because I want to give them time to lock on. guy. We don't want to come in too hot because again we want the torpedo to have a chance to lock on once we can target him. Slow down. Is our lock? Shoot. So they have a big main gun that I really want to avoid. Um, <laughs> and I can't dumb fire my torpedoes. They actually do have to lock. Uh, super annoying. I'm not going to die to this stupid capital ship after dying to the fighters about 900 times. I refuse. thing on the radar. Okay, now we're kind of above him. That's great. The orange thing on the radar is the, the capsule we're trying to pick up. That beep is just me trying to target this guy. We gotta be closer. I don't know why he's in visual range, but you can't. There we go. So we're above him, so we don't have to worry about his main guns. He's trying to come to bear on us, though, I think. Yeah, here comes the flak. Get him. We launched a torpedo. Hopefully we weren't too far away. Usually, when you're doing this, you have fighter support. <laughs> Oof, he got us with that main gun again. I don't know if you saw my rear shields drop <laughs> by like 20 or 30 points. Yeah. Yeah. 
but we've got three more torpedoes. did not get through last time. Drop our speed again, because he can't reach us here. Just going to let the torpedo lock on. Lock again. Yeah, I think he blasted that torpedo. We need to get closer. We've got two more tries. Take this guy out. Just zigzag a bit. Cannot get close enough. close to that message pod that we need to pick up. Like I said, normally you have cover for this. <laughs> Man, this 
transmission. There needs to be another angle I can come at him from where he doesn't have those big guns that chew right through me. thing I need spinning there. I just know I'm going to get melted if I try and get close enough. Otherwise, I just zip in and pick it up, but this guy's got big guns. I only have two torpedoes left. Now, my front armor is good, which is great. So it seems like two blasts from his big main guns will take down my shields. And maybe I can survive one or two more hits just through the armor, but man. Alright, speed it up a little bit. Try and get behind him. Under him, I don't know. I haven't read the briefing notes about this ship. Maybe I will. Yeah, how close? There we go. Man, you lose the target lock as soon as you bring your uh, nose just a little bit away from him. So I can't dart in and out. I can't dodge that main gun when he shoots it. It takes so long to lock the torpedo. There he is. All right, speed's coming up. Ah, lost the lock. even go through. Nope. Yeah, I gotta back off. He's gonna blast me. So from underneath, maybe. <laughs> what a mission. <laughs> We're staying alive at least. Uh... All right, I'm bringing up the manual when we do this, actually. I'm gonna see what it says about this particular Kilrathi capital ship. This is a Ralpha. Oops, shoot, shoot. I do not want to be using my joystick. Okay, so the Ralalpha. Uh, it's two antimatter cannons. But where are they? There's no no useful info in the manual about it. Those antimatter cannons that are getting me. Those blue things. Can I just go for this thing? Thank you. 
goes away. I back it off. Hopefully I was close enough that time. He's not dead though. He'd be dead by now if that worked. I don't know if I need two or it didn't get through. didn't get through, I, like, really don't know what to do here. Not even a fun little flavor text in the manual. to recharge and try again uh, we can also just scarper the mission um, the neat thing about wing commander is uh, as long as you make it back to base alive it just keeps going so we could just give up <laughs> but I think I'm gonna try and blast this guy with my last torpedo uh, and then if that doesn't work we're gonna try and zip in and pick up the pod while he's shooting at us I'm not going to admit defeat until I get blown away again. circles around this thing. I mean, it's good that he doesn't pick it up himself. tractor beam to pick it up, I'm assuming, just like an ejected pilot. Okay, we might 
actually be able to get close enough to this thing without that guy blasting us. So let's not bother. Let's not bother with that. Okay, we're just gonna pick it up. Okay. Reactor beam. Okay, we got it, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> we're out of here, I'm not fighting that guy. Eventfully. Oh, we did it. Affirmative. You are clear to Please land. Please let us land, Concordia. Not sure what's the top, what's the bottom. Yeah, I think we gotta land on the flat part. There we go. Hey, we did it. <laughs> it only took an entire hour. Story stuff. Yep, yep, those are the easy guys. Yeah, just a couple. guy does not like me. Do I get paid? I didn't realize that. I thought it was an enlistment because humanity's on the line kind of deal, but... Uh-oh, Spirit's in trouble. Spirit got a threatening email from, uh... There's a traitor on board who murdered one of the other pilots and has been doing lots of sabotage, and Spirit got a threatening email from him and hasn't reported it yet. So she's in trouble. Alright, we are going to save our game. not want to load my game. I want to save my game. Yes, blah, blah, blah. All right. And let's view the storyline stuff that we worked so hard for. <laughs> okay, so we're jumping to a new system, which means we'll have a new wingman and probably a new type of ship we're flying. Heaven's Gate system. Yeah, I knew that was next. Uh... No, what happened to Spirit? Okay, okay. <laughs> Always helpful, Doomsday. I know Spirit. Spirit was in the first game. We came up in the ranks together. Oh yeah, Stingray doesn't like me. Doesn't believe me about the stealth fighters.
think this is Jazz. We haven't flown with him yet. He's uh, he's from the first game as well, from one of the expansions. All right, we get a good old fashioned briefing this time. There's always a small snag. Okay, spirit's back. Interesting. I can tell you that Stingray is definitely not the traitor because he's way too loud to be the traitor. Thank you, Hobbs. I wouldn't fight a two meter tall tiger man, but uh, that's just me. Okay, I haven't flown an APE yet. So it's fast, light fighter. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it does look like uh, ferrets. Oh, it's cool. I like this thing. Ugly little fighter. It looks like... Uh, it's got kind of like a glider cockpit. Alright. Particle cannon. What do we have? Just the particle cannon. Seekers, dumb fire missiles, and just uh, regular old guns. Let's look at our waypoints. Oh, we're way out already. So, nav point one. Off we go, spirit. Let's do it. Okay, proceed to waypoint two. Alright, break an attack. Ooh, it is fast. Particle cannon, so we got good range on our guns. Which is nice. because your wingmen like to shoot through you uh, when they're after the same target as you. Be very careful. Maybe just let Spirit take care of him. Nice work, 
spirit. All right, we got a capital ship. Okay, nothing I need torpedoes for, thankfully. Thank you, Spirit. Well done. Love Spirit. Like I said, she's in the first game. She's great. Actually, I think she is your first wingman in the first game. Enemy ship ahead. I Break an attack, Spirit. I need your help. All right, all right. Sarth is okay. Sarthas are also small and fast. I need your help. I need your help. I'm coming. I trust you, Spirit. I killed an enemy fighter. You got it, spirit. I an enemy fighter. Nice work. Oh, she is beat up. We're almost to her nap point. Guns are amazing. A little delicate, though. Angel was also in the first game, so we all flew together on the Tiger's Claw in the first game. share. storyline. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, what's up with Spirit? them off the scent. No, she wouldn't betray us unless, like, her fiancé was actually alive. 
Transmission, strange signals. Here we go. Alright, let's take a look at our map. So, I'm going to go to the jump point first. Uh, because if there's an ambush there, I don't want the convoy with us. I want to take care of it first. Okay. Nothing here, so it must be on the way. So we're going to fly manually without autopiloting to where we're supposed to meet the convoy. That should come up behind any ambush that's on the way. That's that's the plan. This is just me using my knowledge of how this game used, likes to spring things on you. Uh, I could be totally wrong here. Maybe it'll be totally uneventful. under attack and we should have gone straight there. Yep, there they are. Okay, so back to the jump point. Same deal. pop up until we pick up the colony. Not colony, the convoy. Maybe it's a colony convoy, I don't know. Not relevant for me to know. mission except for that weird unknown signal we have to investigate.
ho hum. These fighters are very fast. They're much faster than uh, convoy ships. Let's see if we can catch up with them. I see them on the radar, but uh, I don't have a visual on them yet. They're like a very dark gray. I don't know if you can see them in the center of my radar. close. Usually you don't want to autopilot on escort missions uh, because you do want to get ahead of the ships you're escorting. It doesn't look like these guys are going to be ambushed. Glad to see you, sir. Yep. all about this uh, mysterious signal we're investigating. Let's see what we're in for, Spirit. Enemy ships ahead. Okay. I get an attack. God. <laughs> so these ships are delicate. All right. That happened real quick. All right. Well, this is an easy escort mission. Glad to see you, sir. Yep. Autopilot to the jump point. Wait for you to jump. There will be a big flash. Oh, careful, spirit. Jeez. Spirit, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, Spirit's in a bad way because she just decided to ram herself into those convoy ships, but... Uh... Enemy ships ahead! Alright, breaking a hat. Attack! Let's be very careful here, Spirit. are way tougher. Someone's online. 
my tail. Harmonize on this furball. Oh, Jazz is here. Harmonize on this furball. All right, where'd Jazz go? Oh, Jazz just showed up. All right. Well, thanks for showing up, Jazz. Affirmative, you are clear to land. All right. Yeah, I like those long range guns, though. Those help. Yep, zero issue with the convoy except spirit slamming into them. Honestly, very suspicious. Uh, well, now I suspect Jazz, uh, even though he was great in uh, the first game. In the Secret Missions. Secret Missions 2, I think, is when he shows up. Which is the second expansion pack for it. Alright, I'm going to take a quick break and grab some more water. I'll be right back, folks. Storyline. See what's happening. Oh, playing cards. Starbase is where the cult ended up. Jazz out there.
Uh-huh. All right, let's move on. Another meeting with Angel. I don't know who that is. A solo escort mission sounds like a blast. <laughs> Makes sense. If you can't keep it, deny them the use of it. Okay. Need missiles. Yep. It will. It's going to be super fun. Everyone loves an escort mission, right? <laughs> straight there. Let's mix it up. Glad to see you, sir. Glitches, glitches, I'm not sure if we should have glitches. Right. So we're gonna zip to the Concordia. See if there's anything in our way. These are afterburners sparingly. Trying to game the system. fighters. Whoops. We should not have rammed him. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we 
we got stealth fighters. Probably want to do this without the guy we're supposed to escort. Sir. No! Darn. All right. We're going to have to try this mission again. Ram him. <laughs> okay. We'll do it in the right order this time. Uh, so that we're picking up the guy we're supposed to escort. After we deal with all these stealth fighters. my flight recorder will be intact this time. They'll actually believe me about these fighters. the 
Yellow dot on the radar. Uh, the cloaking makes a really annoying noise. They're predictable at least. They try to get behind me. One saving grace is that they are not very maneuverable. Yeah, and they try to pop up right behind me. escort her missiles back to the Concordia. I'm looking a little rough, though. <laughs> All right, let's bring the mama's boy home. <laughs> of course. Glad to see you, sir. So what? Is that going to make the data I already recorded disappear? I assume. All right. All right, Concordia. Affirmative, you are clear to land. In we go. Let's 
see how much of a stink I put up about it this time. <laughs> I'm the ship loony, everyone thinks. Supposed to believe me. I figured. We're going to register them as regular old fighters. That actually is a great question. I assume the trader knows where I'm flying. That's probably why, actually. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Someone's going to see them besides me. Someone's going to be with me when we see them. Save my game. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm going to talk to you, Sparks, I guess. Make sure my shit works, Sparks. Maybe she is the traitor. I don't know. deck yep okay oh yeah that's what they were trying to uh, extort her with Say or we'll kill your fiance. That's pretty rough. Are you unloading on just me? Is she gonna blow it up herself? Okay. Be 
Society of the Mandarins are a group of humans that think we should just let the Kilrathi conquer us and then slowly absorb them into our culture. Oh shit. Spirit is gonna have to uh, kill her fiance. Spirit. It's cool. It looks like uh, I don't know some kind of stealth fighter, like the the Nighthawk, the F-110. Could be wrong. Who's waiting for us? Hi, Captain. All right. Black tea blood drinker will defeat you. Black the. Okay. Oh, we. Rakti. Okay. It's an ace. Alright. Spirit is gonna kill me. We're after the same target. Gee, spirit, Do you come fear on! Death, human. <laughs> yeah, spirit's obliterating me. Uh. Yeah, I'm like lost a gun. I don't know if she rammed me or just blasted me. But man. out of her way. She's got to be in her bonnet for some reason. <laughs> Gee, spirit. I'm trying to stay out of your way. gotta stay out of it. Spirit is just like <laughs> annihilating me. This guy's not hitting me at all. Take hot shots at him when I can, but Spirit, come on! <laughs> he must be like on my tail, which is why she's blasting him through me. Come on, you can get him, Spirit. Thank 
you, spirit. Jeez. Got two of my four guns left. Yeesh. <laughs> Shot up by my own wingman. I don't even have a radar. Jesus. Spirit. a bad stereotype to uh, fall into, Spirit. Come on! No! Yeesh. I'm just gonna get out of here. Base is done. Afterburners away. I am outgunned. Spirit just... Yeah, kamikaze is the word, like I said. Come on, spirit. Too bad. Like I said, she was the first wingman you have in the first Wing Commander game. Concordia requesting you are landing. To land. The ship is cool though. I do like this ship. Come on, come on. We want to land. I speak Japanese, apparently. Yes. Uh, I mentioned earlier, but uh, Angel was also in the first game. A pilot you flew with, so we were all old friends. She just have a cube on her shelf. character I can't blow up. Oh, we got smooch in. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so in the first game, you got a funeral sequence like this whenever a wingman would die. Uh, in this game, wingmen only actually die for plot reasons. But uh, in the first game, if your wingman died, you just didn't have someone with you for the rest of the system.
guess we recovered her body somehow, or I guess it's just ceremonial. That makes sense. All right, save my game here. And we are out of time for the evening. So, one more time, I'm Jeff. I play retro games, I play MS-DOS games, I play console games, mostly old stuff, some just newer retro stuff or very obscure, strange things. It's a lot of fun. I do it twice a week, Sunday evenings and Tuesdays. And I am raising money as part of Extra Life for the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children. Uh, you can see my link up in the chat. There's a link down below. If you donate, it goes 100% to the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children. It is a really great cause. I've been doing this for six years now. And on November 4th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, I will be starting my sixth annual 24-hour gaming marathon in support of sick kids. So please check that out. Please donate to my page. There's some fun incentives. And uh, even if you can't donate, I really appreciate when people stop by my 24-hour stream. We're going to be leading it with the 1998 psychological horror game Sanitarium uh, and going from there. But having people out and chatting with me and watching is a really big help when I am trying to stay awake. Uh, believe it or not, I am not used to pulling all-nighters anymore, and I don't think I ever was. But it should be a really good time. Uh... I'm going to try and stay hydrated. If you guys can come by, say hello, it is a big help. Like I said, check out my fundraising page. Links are above and below. And I will see everyone on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday is Morrowind night, so please join me. All right, have a good night, folks. Thanks for coming out, and we'll see you next time.